Okay. Um, so we we wanted to achieve sort of an effect similar to uh, what's found on this website here, where there's a change, sort of a slow change, not not really fast. Um, well, it's kind of a cool graphics effect that makes your look website look fancy, I guess. So what is it that we're going to do? We're adding kind of a button here. We're adding a button. And if you look very closely, the background, this green background, slowly goes to, not, not immediately, it goes to a kind of a gray or a transparent, right? So how do we do that? Well, let's see here. Um, okay. Well, so what I did was, again, inside this transparent strip, uh, just a quick note again, these videos build on each other. So if this is number 12 or 13, you need to watch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You need to watch them in order. Um, you don't need to go to any other website or do any studying as such, but you do need to watch these videos in order. Okay, so here I have an, uh, an, uh, a link tag, an A tag, um, an anchor tag, whatever you want to call it. So I can link, right? Here's my hyper reference. And then this, this pound sign, it just refers to the same the same web page. It just doesn't go anywhere. I, I could put a link in here if I wanted, right? I could go to uh, aboutpage.php or I could go to um, HTTPS www.myfriendswebsite.com, whatever it is. It doesn't matter, but I don't, we don't need to do all that. Um, so now, <clears throat> I, I am going to target this element through the use of an ID tag because I figure it's going to be pretty, uh, it's pretty unique. It's not going to occur over and over. And so I put in there view products and let's see. Now again, remember it is a child of the transparent strip. Um, here's the transparent strip this semi-white um, strip there and so if we look for and I called it transparent button so here's transparent button remember again we target an ID tag with the pound sign or the number sign whatever uh, font size I gave it 1.2 EM I mentioned EM in the last video okay remember text decoration I got rid of that um, now here color this is referring not to the background color but to the color of the text and padding what I did there was I I gave it a little bit of padding to set the text uh, off from the off from the edges of it and so essentially instead of uh, giving this a tag um, a height and a width and a dimension the way we have been doing up till now I simply gave it some padding around these this text so the size of it has been created um, uh, simply by the size of the text okay and sometimes okay so um, then, okay, I gave it a border, one pixel solid, saddle brown. Okay, and I gave it, of okay, so the background color, I put yellow green. Okay, and it is 140 pixels from the top, 55 from the left. Now, here's the way we created this, what's called a transition. All right, so here's the background color and I put in a transition okay the, now and I said okay now what property is going to be affected by the transition it's the background color 
So whenever an event occurs that changes this background color, all right, we're going to do it, we're going to transition that, and we're going to do it over 0.8 seconds, all right? So it's not going to happen automatically. It's going to happen over the course of just under one second. And so down here, if you recall from my previous videos in this series, right, in the HTML CSS series, that the hover, hover is a pseudo, uh, a pseudo class. It refers to an action here. And now the background color is going to change, okay? And the border is also, go the border is going to change automatically to white, but this background color is going to slowly change into a transparent. Um, now in the last video, I talked about RGBA colors. So some of this stuff don't, I hope you don't feel as though I haven't, walked you through it. My idea is to walk you through stuff, but you have to go sequentially through my videos. Um, and so it goes from being a background color of yellow green to this semi uh, transparent um, color. All right. So you can see, boom, boom. All right. And that's how we do that. And again, as I said in the last video, you can go to this website here and you can play around with the colors. You can say, all right, well, what if I do um, 182? All right, it changes to that color. What if I put in 70? You know, it changes it, right? Um, you, you can play around with it and you can get the RGBA colors right here, right? It's a pretty cool tool, really. So you don't need to make it that color. This is just to show you how to do it. And I can't say I have the best artistic sense. Of course, that you have to tweak it a lot. You have to play with it. 